We ended 2019 with excitement and expectation. Together, the Global Fund Partnership saved 6 million lives in 2019 alone. More people were receiving life-saving treatment for HIV, TB and malaria than ever before. And a record-breaking fundraising conference meant we had the resources to get the world back on track towards ending the epidemics by 2030. Then the COVID-19 pandemic hit and everything changed. In addition to the direct deaths from COVID, the knock-on impact on the fight against HIV, TB and malaria is potentially catastrophic. Many life-saving services have been canceled or postponed prevention activities to protect young girls from getting HIV, treatment to save children from malaria, finding people with TB to save their lives and prevent them from infecting others. Studies predict deaths from HIV, TB, and malaria could as much as double in the next year as a knock-on result of COVID-19, wiping out a decade or more of progress. We cannot let that happen. We have fought too hard and for too long against HIV, TB and malaria to let that progress be destroyed by COVID-19. We must act with speed and at scale, investing far greater resources than have yet been committed. We must see this not just as a fight against a specific virus, but as a catalyst to finish the unfinished fights against HIV, TB and malaria, and to strengthen our global preparedness against future pandemics. The stakes are extraordinarily high. In 2020, we could lose all we have achieved in the past decade. We must unite to fight.